Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to assemble our cherry bomb lantern. And we're gonna begin with these pieces here. Okay, and what we wanna do is we wanna fold these teeth over just to get them in their position. And then the next thing you wanna do is you wanna take this piece and this thing has a natural curve to it, okay? So to make the assembly easier, grip it like this and run it along the edge of your table to kind of give it a natural bend, okay? And that's gonna help, um, that's just gonna help with the assembly. And then this piece comes out like this and then this tab folds under. So it sort of is gonna look like that, okay? So you wanna do that with both pieces. Again, just um, run it across your table and give it that natural curve, at least get it started like so. It's very simple, like I said, just grab it on both ends and drag it across the edge of your table just to help it curve, okay? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put glue on this little tab here. And we're gonna connect this piece to this piece here. You wanna make sure that you get it nice and flush and even. Wind up with that score line and just hold that in place until you've got a good hold. You can actually go ahead and fold it if you want and push down like so, just to ensure that you've got a nice connection, so to speak, okay? just like that, all right? So that is the side. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna just place this thing down on the table and glue these teeth down to the edge here or to the inside of this round piece. Okay, and that's gonna, that's gonna form our lantern, okay? So you can go ahead and I think the easiest way to do this would be to just put glue on all of these teeth and try to get it all done in one fell swoop. You don't need much and you don't want to cake it on too much because then it can get kind of messy. So if you need to take some of the glue from the previous tab and just smear it over to its neighbor if you get a little bit too much on there, okay? Just like so. And then we can go ahead and what I like to do is, I like to kind of look at the back side of it or the outside of it just to make sure that I've got it nice and lined up initially. Okay, and then this, is, this glue is really cool because gives you a little bit of time to get everything in place. There we go. And you can kind of nudge things around, just kind of scooch things around until you've got it just right. And now it's really starting to grip. So your opportunity to move things around is slowly diminishing, but there's still a little bit of time there. And there we go. Okay, so that's what it's gonna look like on the inside. And what you wanna do is just repeat that same process on the other side by taking this little tab here and gluing it to the base there, just like we did, and then gluing this just like we did with the other side. So go ahead and do that, and I will meet you when that's all done. Okay, so we've got half of this thing assembled. What we're gonna do is we're gonna close these tabs up here and just get them all ready to go. And we're gonna put the top on here to close this off, okay? So probably gonna to wanna to do one side at a time and actually just like we did before, um, because these shapes here and this part here is, um, well, it's not round, it's nice and straight. I'm gonna start by getting these pieces aligned here at the bottom. I'm just making sure that that's got a good connection, so to speak. So we'll hold that down, make sure that that gets glued in place. 
Give that a few seconds to dry. And then we can move over to the other side and connect this piece here. Okay. Do your best to get all those angles nice and aligned. There we go. Just like that. Okay. So give that uh, a few seconds to dry. You can even flip it over and push down from the inside. Okay. And again, just like we did before, we're going to put glue on those teeth and glue the round piece in place here, this outer perimeter. So go ahead and do that. Now what I'm doing is I'm just kind of, just kind of folding this back and I'm going to place glue on all these teeth. You don't need a whole ton of glue. And then I'm going to flip it over and just kind of look from the outside here just to make sure that you're getting the angle right. And it helps to kind of get your fingers in there just to adjust it and just try to create a nice flush perimeter. Okay, I might need to kind of scooch things in and out a little bit just to get it right. Okay. And we've still got a little bit of time here before this glue really sets to kind of nudge anything you might need to nudge. And that looks pretty good to me. So I'm going to go ahead and just apply some more force on those teeth and get that in place. Okay, so that looks really good. And then you can go ahead and finish it off by just putting teeth, I'm sorry, putting glue on his teeth. You don't want to use your teeth. There we go. And one more little dab there. And we'll flip this guy over again. And like I said, just do your best to get that natural curve around. Use your hand inside to push the pieces out into place if they go too far. And that looks good. That's starting to get a grip. There we go. And I can just add some additional force from the inside to get this thing nice and glued in place. So there are the bones of our lantern, okay? Okay, now the next thing you want to do is you want to glue your vellum into place. Okay, so that little piece of vellum, there's two of them. I'm only showing you one because it is redundant. So you want to just place some glue around the perimeter of the circle as well as on the inside on these little wavy parts. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so we've got our vellum piece on. I'm gonna go ahead and flip it over again. And there are two little liner pieces that get glued inside just to cover that up and make it look nice. So you're gonna glue both of those in place, okay? And once you have both of those in place, um, actually, you know what we can go ahead and do is close this thing up just to make it a little bit more stable. And we can do that by putting glue on these tabs here. And there's three little squares. Uh, one is a bottom, and then there's another bottom because we're gonna put a fuse on this thing. Okay, so I'm just actually gonna flip this over and do it so that I have a table to kind of steady everything. Okay, so we've got the bottom on our lantern. And at this point, what we can go ahead and do, and I don't need to actually do this, I'm just gonna show you, this piece is gonna get glued on like so. You want a nice even border all the way around, and there's gonna be a little bit of white here, okay? So you wanna glue that down like so, and then you're gonna take and you're gonna glue this piece in place as well, okay? So that goes on like that, and then, and all that's left to do is to put on our little panel, okay? And that's gonna get glued on like so. So with this too, if you want, you can kind of run it ac across the edge of your table and just train it a little bit, okay? So I'm gonna put glue on this piece here first and get that glued into place. Just give that a few seconds to dry and to hold. And then we can go ahead and put a nice little 
the line of glue on the inside and then as well as one on the outside here. Okay, and just make sure that you get a nice curve and it wraps around nicely. It should meet that hole just like so. Okay, everything should be perfect. Okay, so you're gonna do that with the other side as well. Okay, and we've also included two of these little tiny donuts, okay? And these donuts get glued to the inside uh, of the hole here. Actually, this hole here and the other hole that you see, it gets glued on right there just to kind of reinforce that hole. So you have two of those specifically for that. And finally, um, I've got a liner piece and that's gonna get glued inside of the base there at the bottom. And that leaves a couple more things here. We've got these little stars here. There's a white one and then one we cut out of gold foil. You glue those together and those get glued on on the top there, as you can see in our final there. And you have two sets of those. And then finally, what we have is our little fuse at the bottom. I'm just gonna briefly explain how that works. You have this bottom panel here it's going to get glued onto the bottom and it's going to contain your fuse okay and all we did for the fuse was we took one of these um, pipe cleaners or whatever you want to call them and you cut it to size however long you want it and just kind of stick it through there and just bend it over a little bit just so it's nice and flat you don't want too much up there and then we hot glued it okay you just hot glue it on there, let it sit. Don't put, don't cake on the hot glue. Just go real light on it, just so that it holds. And then trim it wherever you wanna trim it. And then as you can see here, we've got the little explosion at the bottom, which is made up of these pieces here, okay? And we did a gold foil and then a red glitter. In my example here, I just used some cardstock because I didn't wanna waste my precious glitter. Um, so you glue that on like that, you do that twice, and then you just sandwich it in between your pipe cleaner, okay, just like we did here. And then once that's done, you simply glue it to the bottom of your cherry bomb. And that's really it. That is the assembly for the cherry bomb. Stay on top of all things Dreaming Tree and engage with us today. Get the latest news and enter in our giveaways on Facebook. Get inspired by following us on Pinterest. Be the first to see our new product launches on Instagram. Do you prefer Twitter? Yep, we're there too. Watch our beautiful product trailers and assembly tutorials on YouTube. For more information, visit www.3dsvg.com. Live, craft, love, and dream.